Hello friends, welcome to Internet Works. My name is Edgar C. Francis. In this video, we are going to see how to configure DHCP server on router and DHCP server on multi OS switch. So in the first network, uh, we are going to configure DHCP server on router. First, we configure the gigabyte interface and then we configure the DHCP server. So first configure. You can see the gigabyte 0 slash 0 the address is 192.168.10.1 now we can figure DSCP server you can see the IP DSCP pool is server the address is 192.168.10.0 and the default router is 192.168.10.1 and the DNS server I put the, the 192.168.10.1 network. Okay, so now verify on this uh, PCs. DSCP. Okay, the DSCP request is successful. Um, PC0 get the IP address of 192.168.10.2. PC3. PC1 get 192.168.10.3 network and this PC get 192.168.10.4 network and our last PC 192.168.10.5 DHCP request successful now we are going to run some show command on this router Show IP VLCP. You can see the show IP DSCP binding command. You can see the MAC address, the type is automatic, and the IP addresses. So now we are going to configure DSCP server on this multi layer switch so first we configure the VLAN on this switch 1 on network 2 we can turn name phase 1 ok Sorry. See, now we configure the fast that zero slash one as a trunk. Okay, switch port mode trunk. In order to verify, now we are going to configure, turn some show commands. Show that. Show VLAN. As you can see, in VLAN time, name phase 1, status active, and the port is 5 slash, is for the 0 slash 2 to 0 slash 5, is in VLAN time. We are going to run some show command on trunk. Show interface trunk. You can see fast slash zero slash one mode is on encapsulation h zero two dot one q status trunking. Interface fast zero slash one switch port trunk we can allow allowed we can ok 
okay in the same way now we are going to configure on this switch Line 20 name race 2 okay now we configure these ports into VLAN 20 and then in the same way we configure fastnet 0 slash 1 as a trunk you can see interface range fastnet 0 slash 2 to 5 switch port mode access switch port access vlan 20 now we configure interface pass fastnet 0 slash 1 switch port trunk switch port trunk allowed VLAN all now we are going to run some show commands do show VLAN VLAN brief you can see VLAN 20 phase 2 status active and the port says 0 slash 2 0 slash 3 0 slash 4 and 0 slash 5 now do show interface you can see the port is fastness 0 slash 1 mode is on Encapsulation 802.1Q status trunking. Now we configure on the multi layer switch. Okay. Enable the computer terminal interface range fastness 0 slash 1 to 2. Switchboard mode trunk. Switchboard trunk encapsulation dot one Q. Do show interface trunk. You can see. Fastnet 0 slash 1 and fastnet 0 slash 2 mode is auto encapsulation 802.1q q negotiable status trunking okay now we are going to configure the inter VLAN routing and then we configure the DSCP server on this multi layer switch first IP routing this is the most important command okay VLAN 10 VLAN 20 okay now we configure the interface okay and the IP address and VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 the IP address will be 192.168.10.1 for VLAN 10 and 192.168.10.1 for VLAN 20 you can see interface VLAN 10 the IP address 192.168.10.1 client protocol interface VLAN 10 change the status state to up in the same way we are going to configure VLAN 20 also yeah. interface VLAN 20 the IP address is 182.168.20.1 now we configure the DSCP 
server on this multi-layer switch. Okay, service DSCP, IP DSCP full, VLAN 10, network 192.168.10.0. The default router is 192.168.10.1 and the DNS server is 8.8.8. .8. Now for VLAN 20, for VLAN 20, service DSCP, IP DSCP pool VLAN 20, the address is, oh sorry, I put the wrong address here, let me correct it. Zip. The service is DSCP, IP DSCP pool VLAN 20, network is 192.168.10.0, default router is 192.168.10.1, the DNS server is 8.8.8. .8 .8. Now let's see the PC is getting the automatic DSCP server IP address or not. Let's open this PC. Hope so. DSCP requesting okay I can see the DSCP request is successful the IP address is 192.168.20.2 let's try on this PC too okay. 192.168.20.3 now let's see on VLAN 10 it's getting the IP addresses or not I hope so. Request IP address. Okay. DSCP request successful. The address is 192.168.10.2 on this. 192.168.10.3. So here we have successfully configured the DSCP servers on both router and switch.